Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Tawny. Welcome to our tiny home. In the front of the bus is the driver's area slash entryway. So when you first walk in, there's a shelving area. It's got some hooks for keys, other things that we grab for regularly when we're walking in and out. At the bottom, there's also hooks for our shoes because otherwise it gets really cluttered on the stairs. We also have hooks for our coats over by the driver's seat. When we're parked for long periods of time, we actually have faux wall panels that we stick up. They insulate and help keep the heat slash cold in or out, depending on what season we're in. Um, and they also are just kind of decorative. So when we're parked for long periods of time, it makes this area of the bus feel a lot more like an actual room and a lot less like a driver's seat. At the front of the bus is also one of my favorite features of the bus, the hook for our hammock chair. When it's not in use, it's stored over here beside the driver's seat. When we're parked, we can pop it up and have extra seating for our living room. In here is our living room, and our couch is made from repurposed wood that we got from a friend's old deck. And underneath the couch are baskets for storage. I have my art supplies down there, electronics, things like that. And right here is a table that comes out and folds out. It's really nice. We can use it inside or we can take it outside. On this side of the room, we have our steam trunk chest here, which we picked up secondhand, and it stores tiny like herbs and things like that. And then we have our bookshelf, which we're probably going to have to expand here real soon. Our TV that pulls out and swivels so that the whole room can see it. And finally, we have our mantle, which actually folds out into another bed. On this side of the kitchen, uh, behind the counter is a breakfast nook where we have stools that we can sit up and eat lunch, or sometimes I work back here. We also have the stove right behind me, which has been amazing, especially in Montana's cold winters. Right now, we're up in the mountains and at night it gets really cold and this fireplace keeps us warm. Beneath the fireplace, there's a built-in box for wood, which holds about two to three days worth of firewood, depending on how cold it is. And finally, back behind me, there's the side door, which is incredibly convenient for loading firewood right into the side of the bus where the stove is. this is my personal favorite room of the house, our kitchen. We put a lot of attention and time into this room because we knew how important it would be whether we were traveling or parked. It's the heart of our home and a lot happens here. So the refrigerator and the stove were a mismatched set. We found them secondhand, a few coats of metallic rose gold paint, and they became a matching set. Above the stove is an open herb shelf. Uh, makes it really easy to just grab things, unscrew it, use it, and put it back up there. The counters we did with an Ardex feather finished concrete. Um, same look as poured concrete without the additional weight. It's done on an L-shaped bank of cabinets. We did L-shaped because A, we wanted a breakfast nook, and B, we wanted the most under cabinet storage space that we could possibly have. On the other side of the kitchen, there is an open pantry style shelving system. Again, makes it really easy while I'm cooking to grab something out, use it, and throw it right back. And there's also a magnetic spice rack above the refrigerator. So this is our bathroom. It's actually a pretty good size for a schoolie bathroom. We did one wet room styled room as opposed to doing the aisle down the center split bathroom. Um, in this room, there is a composting toilet a basin style sink, some shelving that holds the things that we grab quick, our shower, and we actually have a tub in here as well. This room has actually been through a few redesigns, two big ones since we moved in here. Initially, I didn't think that I would want a bathtub, but 
once we were on the road, I realized I really missed having a good long soak. Uh, and then we remodeled it again because we had a tub that was built in and we wanted more space in the bedroom. We didn't like the built-in tub, so we took that out, added space to our bedroom, and now we have a wine barrel tub, which is really nice because I can also bring it outdoors and use it outdoors when we're out in the wild. This is my favorite room of the bus, and it actually is a room. Uh, it's everything that you'd want in your bedroom. We have an amazing bed, and behind me, right by the window, there's a reading nook, and then we have our computer where we can watch movies and TV series, usually The Office, while we fall asleep at night. And right above me is the hatch, which leads up to our roof deck. Because of the engine block of the bus, we were kind of forced to build our bed up on a platform, which actually worked out really well because underneath our bed, we have a ton of storage. Uh, right behind me, or below me I should say, is our three giant drawers that hold all of me and Tani's clothes except for what's in front of me, which are all hung up on hangers. And then to my right, there is a giant chest which we use to hold scarves and winter clothing and anything else that we need storage for. Thanks for watching our tour and spending time with us in our tiny home. If you have any additional questions on things that you saw but we didn't mention or forgot to cover, you can always get us on our Instagram at Sensu Woke Up. Yeah.